Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the DC generator, working of DC generator. And we will continue the DC generator. In the DC generator, generally, we are giving mechanical power through the prime mover and we will get the, the EMF will be generated across the armature conductors. So, these things are, we already discussed. And we should continue the part. That is, in the last session, we discussed about for the only single conductor. Single conductor means itself, it is a, it look like a, sorry, it's like a single conductor. So if the conductors are increases, so if we are increasing the number of conductors, that means the construction, So this punch of conductors, if the number of conductors are increases, that means we can name it as this is the bunch of conductors, bunch of conductors. So you know that the collection of conductors is nothing but armature. Collection of conductors, nothing but armature. But up to now, we discussed for, for only the single conductor here the conductors will be increases. Then, how the DC generator will be acting, we should look at here. Here, just observe here, even number of conductors are increases. That means, 1, 1 dash is the one conductor, and 2, 2 dash is the second conductor, 3, 3 dash is the three conductors. If the three conductors are increases, what happen? The current generated, so for example, it is the armature current, generated by the DC generator. The current generated by the 1, 1 dash conductor is this is the path. This path is current. And 2, 2 dash conductors are generated. Uh, generated. This is the 2, 2 dash conductors generated the armature current. Next is the 3, 3 dash conductors. This is the 3, 3 dash conductors that will be generated current. Understand? For only one conductor, if we are using only one one dash connect, conductor, then we have only one armature current. That armature current has like this. This is the single armature current. If the number of armature conductors are increases, then the current waveform is follows like this. It is not a proper way. It should be in proper way. So by combining these all these currents. The complete DC current is like this. The DC current, the load current, the current reaches to load, IL is like this. This have some paths. This has the path currents like this. So we can name it as, this is the omega T and this is also the omega T. It starts from the zero, it starts from the zero. In the armature conductors, the generated armature current is AC if you observe here, this is a three phase AC by using the three conductors. But finally, across the load, across the load means look at here, across this load, we will get the current is just observe here. This is the DC waveform. This is the DC current. Understand? Right. And if we extend this, in this extension, generate how the generator is working. So we are connecting a prime mover that prime mover will rotate the generator rotor and it will generate some EMF. The generated EMF will supply the current to the load resistor. To the load resistor. Then it will be works like this. If we analyze this, some parameters here, generally we have the given power from the the given power is given by the prime mover torque. So, the given prime mover torque is nothing but it is like this that is J into D omega by DT and B into not omega this is this is the W you can take it as the omega speed and this is the electromagnetic torque. So, the complete prime mover torque should satisfy the electromagnetic torque. This prime mover torque is nothing but the given mechanical power it is taken from the given mechanical power and this electromagnetic torque is taken from the electric power 
electric power and it should satisfy the remaining these conditions remaining these condition j d omega by dt and b omega okay so the co given complete prime mover torque will be divided like this okay so in this we will we will write the parameters are here you know this is the tpm is name itself it is the prime mover torque prime mover torque and here the j is available look at this j j is moment of inertia moment of inertia okay next b is inertia constant b is the inertia constant these are complete mechanical parameters mechanical terms okay and uh, what is tem tem is means electromagnetic torque this is the electromagnetic torque yeah so the the complete given prime mover torque will be like this okay so if you multiply these so generally this is the prime mover torque under steady state condition means for example it rotates with the same speed so just just take the condition under steady state condition the speed the d omega by dt will become the zero d omega by dt will become the zero because the steady state means it has the constant speed it has a constant speed so by that we have this term will become the zero the remaining term is like this the remaining term is the prime mover torque will be equal to the and bw plus electromagnetic torque so if you multiply with both sides the omega then what happen the prime mover torque into speed will be b omega square plus electromagnetic torque into speed electromagnetic torque into speed so finally we can write this prime mover torque this prime mover torque will be i can write this is the mechanical power this is the mechanical power and this bw square b omega square is the last power and this is the electrical power the complete mechanical power will be nothing but the last power and the electrical power last power and the electrical power so finally we will get the equation that equation equal to the complete mechanical power will be equal to the last it will satisfy some loss and it will generate the electrical power we will use this electrical power to the load so this is the input and we should get the output across the load and we will give some equations we will analyze some equation that is the electrical power developed electrical power developed we can represents with electrical power generally pe is nothing but electromagnetic torque generated and the speed and the speed it will generate with the some speed that is we can name it as another name that is generated emf eg into armature current just look at here so across it it will generate some generated emf eg and it will generate some current that current is the armature current this point is the armature current and this point is the armature current yes so we can write it as the finally we can get it electromagnetic power pe equal to electromagnetic torque into speed and is nothing but generated emf into armature current why generated emf generally it is a generator in the armature it will generate some eg and after that it will generate some current ia like that the so from this we can write the electromagnetic torque value equal to pe by speed electromagnetic power by speed so the electromagnetic power uh, equal generated emf eg into armature current 
generate emf e into armature current by speed so we can give some equation the electromagnetic torque equal to generate emf e into armature current by speed this is also a very very important equation so finally we are giving we are generating the equation between electromagnetic torque and the generated emf okay and we can get some equations those are in dc generators it is a dc generator actually but motor action also takes place it is a generator but mo why motor action takes place look at here so we have a flux is there and flux is there an armature current will be flows what is the condition when current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field what happen it gets some torque it gets some torque it generates some torque the torque is nothing but electromagnetic torque that my the torque is nothing but the electromagnetic torque that will be opposite to the prime over torque opposite of prime over torque that is the thing the electromagnetic torque electromagnetic torque means it is takes so by using the electric field it will generates and using the magnetic flux so the electromagnetic torque due to the motor action always in opposite direction to the prime over torque therefore it is called the breaking torque why it is called the breaking torque it opposes it breaks the prime over therefore it is called the breaking torque so we can write like this so generally we have some prime over is there prime over is there it generates some torque prime over torque and it will correct to this and in the dc generator itself there is a opposite direction electromagnetic torque is generated this electromagnetic torque is called the breaking torque is called the breaking torque okay so this is about the the relation between the electromagnetic torque and the generated electric power and and it is about we can call it as it is the breaking torque is called the breaking torque okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you